let's discuss breathing and bracing for stabilizing your spine and activating your core during your deadlifts. But we've already made a video about this for heavy sets where I'm doing, you know, one, two or three reps. But now I want to talk about this for a, a longer set, maybe more than six reps, maybe even 10 reps of deadlifts if you're truly sick and you're ready to get some endurance. <laughs> both cardiovascular and muscular. So with the, the, the heavy sets, I'm holding my breath more and it's expected that I do that, right? I need this rigidity. But during a multi-rep set, that might be uh, counter-effective. So we talked about the endurance, right? I mentioned that. So during these sets, I need to keep supplying my muscles with oxygen. I need to keep enforcing exchange of all the metabolic stuff that happens in your muscles. And I can do that by continuing to breathe, okay? You're gonna run out of air if you do a 10 rep set and try to hold your breath the whole time, right? Not effective. We want to teach our muscles how to keep working how to keep that mitochondria going, how to, you know, I don't know, endurance. So as I'm setting up for something like this, instead of finding an ab and then breathing into it and then going and holding, I'm gonna instead set that brace the same kind of way. Maybe I unlock my knees, I reach forward, I got a little ab, stand up, I hang on to my ab, and now I grab my bar, and I go. As I come back down, I'm inhaling, and as I come back up, I'm pushing up. <sighs> pushing out with my breath is what I meant to say. So inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Okay, and this keeps a predictable pattern. The breathing pattern reinforces the bony positions that you need to deadlift effectively to achieve full depth and not put too much stress on your back. Uh, but it also keeps the oxygen exchange so that you can keep developing your fitness and you don't get so fatigued so fast. So that is breathing and bracing during a multi-rep set.